On January 9th, news emerged that hinted that Lithuania was considering buying a stake in Latvia's national airline, Air Baltic. This news came directly from Lithuania's transport minister, Marius Skouris. For those who are unaware, despite the name of the airline being Air Baltic, it is very much a Latvian airline. Air Baltic was actually established in the early autumn of 1995 with the signing of a joint venture between the Latvian state and Scandinavian Airlines, otherwise known as SAS. Now, the airline does have aircraft based at Vilnius Airport, but this is just a small fraction of the Air Baltic operations you'll see at Riga International Airport. So what's the significance of this news? And should Lithuania do it? It's something worth talking about for today's video. I have already had two conversations with the Latvian transport minister about the possibility of Lithuania acquiring a stake in Air Baltic. This is what Lithuania's transport minister told reporters at Vilnius Airport. Skouris added, I believe the conditions in such a case should involve some of the planes being based here and rotating from Lithuania. The possible terms of the deal are currently being discussed as Air Baltic is preparing to become a publicly traded company at the end of 2024. This would allow people like you and me, and even the Lithuanian government, to buy up shares and have partial ownership of the company. According to LRT, the Latvian state owns 97.97% .97 of Air Baltic. The remaining shares are held by a company that goes by the name Aircraft Leasing One, which is owned by a Danish investor. According to the Lithuanian transport minister, Air Baltic could become the airline of all three Baltic states in the future. I imagine this would be a funny thought for non-aviation people to hear this. I would guess that a lot of people are already thinking, isn't Air Baltic already the airline of all three Baltic states? Well, functionally speaking, it does kind of act like it. At present, it is the only airline flying between the Baltic capitals. There are numerous flights between Vilnius and Riga, and Tallinn and Riga, every day, and up to two daily flights connecting Vilnius to Tallinn. It also looks like the airline has one daily flight between Riga and Palanga. But people who know their recent Lithuanian history may not be so fond of Air Baltic. The Latvian airline, as well as Riga Airport, were accused of unfairly competing with Lithuania's national airline, Fly Lau, with a price war that Fly Lau just couldn't win. As I noted in a previous video, a 2016 article by El Ritas starts off by saying, The Vilnius District Court recognized that Latvians are to blame for the company's bankruptcy. Riga Airport and Air Baltic, using unfair pricing, forced the Lithuanian company out of some routes, which caused it to suffer 16 million euros in damage. Now, I should say that Air Baltic, after many, many years of fighting, finally won its case to clear its name in 2020. It was in that year that the Lithuanian Court of Appeal completely dismissed 12 years of old claims by Fly Lal and its shareholders. Still, I'm sure many Lithuanians aren't fully convinced that Air Baltic is blameless in the downfall of Lithuania's airline. Well, history is history, and, well, I really don't think Lithuania is getting a full-service network airline of its own anytime soon. In my opinion, it seems only natural that Lithuania try and get a stake in Air Baltic. As I noted in my previous video, it only seems fitting for Air Baltic to become an airline for all three Baltic countries in the same way that Scandinavian Airlines, or SAS, is the flight carrier of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Especially when it comes to the three Baltic countries, no single state is large and wealthy enough to grow and sustain a network airline. Definitely not in the way that some small Middle Eastern countries have done. Thus, it seems only right for Lithuania and Estonia to also have some ownership of Air Baltic. I mean, the name of the airline is already quite perfect to be the flag carrier of Lithuania and Estonia too. I would personally love to see Air Baltic fly to more destinations from Vilnius. I don't necessarily mind connecting through Frankfurt or Istanbul with other airlines, or flying direct with Ryanair or Wizz Air, but those options have their drawbacks, especially in the case of low-cost carriers, which have infrequent and sometimes only seasonal service, and this can make trip planning pretty difficult. Air Baltic does have quite a few destinations across Europe, but most require a connection through Riga. My experience with Air Baltic has been kind of hit and miss. The flights I've taken with them to Paris, Amsterdam, and Hamburg have been pretty good, but my two trips to Tallinn with the late night flight have not been good at all. Now, I love that their fleet of aircraft are comprised of Canadian built planes, and I don't mind too much that their seats don't have the ability to charge devices, but I'm definitely eager to see them get in flight internet connectivity. But I'll pass the question off to you. What do you think? Should Lithuania invest and take some ownership of Air Baltic? Let me know by leaving a comment. And so for the Lithuanian word of the day, let's go with lektuvas.
which means airplane, like two of us. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.